Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the last video, we learned how we can install bottom tab navigation in React Native with TypeScript. We also learned how we can assign the icons here and how we can customize as per our requirement. Now we are going to learn drawer navigation in React Native with TypeScript. For that, you see drawer navigation is like this. So how we can install, how we can use it that we are going to learn. First of all, I need to copy this and we have to install this library. And for that, I go there and I close this project first of all. And here I install this drawer and this drawer also needs some dependencies. Remember that if you are using Expo, this dependency, if you are using CLI, then this dependency. So we copy this. And after that, I have to install this dependency also. So drawer is installed. Now I need to install the dependencies, gesture and reanimated library. After that, we have to import this line in the index.jss or app.jsx at the top of the file. So I need to open the index.jsx. So I scroll down and go to index js like this under this at the top of this here i import this also save this now one more thing we have to learn no one will explain that so go to this installation guide otherwise it would not work we have to open babel.config.js file and we have to copy this and we have to insert this plugin under the plugin tab for that i need babel. So this is babel.configuration.js file. Remember that and I need plugin. So I go again there and I copy this hall, copy this and here just after this and I paste it here and I remove this no need of these. So this plugin we have to install for reanimating the screen you see. So that is compulsory for babel. To configure or to plug in this now remove this one now your drawer is completed configuration and installation now we need to write a programming for this so I close this now we have to import this library copy this and we need to create this also object of drawer then I need these all just we do in other also stack or tab navigation for that what I do, I create one more folder under navigation. I say drawer, drawer, and under this drawer, I create, I say all screen. Otherwise, I say drawer, drawer screens dot tsx like this way. And I say here r n f v s, and here I paste those library which we are taking from there, and I remove this. I remove this style also no need of these styles remember that now I need a, a screen so already I have created those screen under the bottom tab navigation screen 1 screen 2 screen 3 means om screen 1 so same screen I will use here because those are plain so I will use here those screens so for that what I do uh, I import those screen I say import I say home screen under the bottom tab again I say again I say import I say screen 1 under the bottom tab then I say import screen 2 screen 2 from I say screen 2 from the bottom like this so we save this now I remove this under this I say drawer drawer dot navigator similar to other navigation library which we used here I say drawer dot screen I say name of the screen is home I say component of this is home so I close it and I make copy and I say screen 1 and here also I say screen 1 same I do copy here I say screen 2 I say screen 2 I just make formatting and I save this and because uh, it is TypeScript, so I create type of this. So I say type, I say drawer type, drawer type equal to here I say home screen. We have undefined 
remember that undefined I use and for screen one also I use undefined no we are not passing any parameter I say screen two I use undefined like this way and I save this and here I pass as a type of this I say drawer type like this way and close it you see we done everything home screen is ready screen one is screen two and bottom and tab everything we done here all screens are ready and drawer screen component is also ready now in place of tab screen I will use the drawer drawer screen like this and save this and I need to remove this tab save this now what I do I just create this one you see this is tab navigation already bottom tab now I need to run this application again so I run it again with the drawer screen so this screen will replace by the drawer one now you see that we have a drawer navigation we have dot 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 here the line home screen is coming first of all and we can give here initial navigation also we can say initial route and here I am passing the home but you can pass any screen that you prefer that will be replaced here home screen is replaced but I can if I say screen one if here I say screen one and I save this so it will replace by the screen one also so for that I have to refresh it first screen will be the screen one you see by default is screen one so it depend on me that which I want to make it home so I say home screen as a home, home one and once again I have to refresh it so I say refresh so I click on this you see and I click on this we will have this drawer home one then we have a screen one so I click on this we have a screen one again I click on drawer I say screen 2 so we have the screen 2 and we can also change this name also screen 1 is screen 2 all the options are available so I say option and I say drawer label here and I give here the name of the home I say home screen save this you see home screen is changed same I copy this and I paste uh, here also and I paste here also and here I say it is uh, I say screen 1 and here I say screen 2 save this so I can change this also so what we have we have uh, drawer label screen 1 we have drawer label screen 2 okay we have to close it also like this way and like this way save this you see home screen screen 1 screen 2 we have all this everything is like this way we can use so this is the drawer navigation coming here and uh, here you see that we are using single drawer only but we can use tab navigation also we can use stack navigation also all together we can use in a single application that I will explain in next video it's called nested navigation that I will explain in next video also how you can combine all these three and in your single application so this is the drawer navigation in react native with typescript i think you understand and learn how to use it if you learn it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video